So the Marine Corps and the Army face off an Operation Steel Crucible on the fictitious island of Torbia. It's supposed to simulate an island hopping campaign. One party took up an offensive position. One party took up a defensive position. They describe it as a capture the flag type operation. Or I guess you're going to take an objective and whoever gets that or defends that wins. And of course, not surprisingly, ultimately the Marines prevail. Lieutenant Colonel John Gawin, commander of the Army Artillery Battalion, told the Marine Corps Times. Let's take a look at some of the footage. Today, we did three iterations of what we were gonna go through. It was uh, the first one, Marines held up a defense. It was kind of like capture the flag. We set up a defensive position in a building. The Army came and attacked it. After that iteration, we switched sides. Army held a defense, Marines attacked. And then the last one, we both did an infiltration. We commingled forces. That way we could get some chance to learn their tactics. They could learn the way we do things and our tactics. We were all just super pumped to be here. So it was good to actually get some blanks out here get that eye test system going and actually be able to tell when you killed someone. It was definitely a lot better than uh, the old school sort of method of you're dead, where the vest itself tells you if you actually got shot. They definitely know how to work with each other, but once we got into our groove, started talking with each other, I knew we had them. Now I know I'll have a lot more confidence when operating in an urban environment. It was a good time and I think we should do some more of it. This was good mount training for everyone. Everyone got better at the tactics. But what the real training goal here was that we were able to meet was getting Marines and Army to get along.